we need to do activity, till become, that becomes a kind of a second nature or a habit. And the answer is, it depends. Uh, we all have heard of 21 days, but actually it really, really depends on the habit. It depends how complex or simple a habit is, and that's really personal. So here is a graph of so-called automaticity score. So basically, how many times out of 100, you kind of automatically choose to do that activity? <coughs> so we can see uh, that, and this is amount of days on there. So with simple habits, we learn quite quickly and we reach automaticity score of 40%, which is quite high. Uh, I know you, you, we all aim for 100, but that's not very possible in human behavior. So it means like, for example, what could be a simple, simple change? Imagine if you're drinking three cups of coffee a day and you want to reduce to two cups of coffee a day. For many people, it's a simple habit. Now, what could be a complex habit if you want to quit coffee altogether? Or if you want to change a lot of different things in your nutrition? Simple habit could also be if you're exercising relatively regularly, but you want to exercise a little bit more. So simple habit usually is when something you're already doing, but you want to kind of increase it. That's quite simple. Now, when we talk about standard habits, it usually requires changing quite a lot. So if you are physically quite inactive and want to get really, really fit, that could be standard habit. So instead of what's called 21 days, and in fact, it takes more than two, like, like two months to get a little bit you know, into habit. Now, when there is other people involved, such as changing relationship dynamics, changing the team dynamics, changing leadership style, changing certain career, um, I wouldn't say career as such, but more kind of performance habits, because a lot, of, a lot of situations are complex systems where other people are involved as well. That takes more like three months to create any, any visible, visible habit change. So it really kind of, it's, there is no simple answer to that. You really need to ask, how familiar am I with this change? Have I done this in the past? How successful I've been with that? Um, and, and kind of just set realistic expectations for that. Also, there is a lot of studies. Now, it kind of, it's a shame I didn't put the slide with that, but there is a lot of studies showing that when people do something new, there is actually new networks formed quite quickly. Within a week or two, we see the brain plasticity and, and new networks. However, if the person stops doing that, the networks disappear. So it, it only is maintained with a regularity and doing things in the regular manner for a long enough period. So if you ask me how frequently and how much, I would say rather it's small dose at the time and more frequently than loads at once and non, you know, for the long period of time. So if you were to choose an exercise, I would rather say, you know, start exercise maybe five minutes a day, uh, three days a week, rather than an hour a day, once a week, and things like that. Uh, and, you know, of course, it, it really depends on, on, the, on the kind of which habits you go for. So, you know, we, in order to make any lasting change, we really need to be aware that it does take time. Because those networks in the brain are really hard to build. And not only you need to build new networks, you need to weaken the existing networks. So the new network becomes more and more your go-to place. Also, it's quite good to get like kind of social accountability and other support systems, like reading the books on how to create change, maybe joining some sort of communities which are supporting, asking your friend you know, to keep on calling you every morning and say, have you done that? and things like that, and betting, maybe saying, okay, if I haven't done that by the end of the week, I need to pay Gabby a hundred pounds and things like that. <laughs>